I hope all is well. I'm coming again today, as you guys can see, with a brand new video. Uh, yes, I have curls again. I love curls. I love, don't get me wrong, I love straight hair, but I just can't stay away from curls too long. No, I can't. I can't. Okay, so what I did is I actually made a wig uh, out of my, out of this, uh, beautiful creation as you guys can see yeah so I made a wig it's not a sewing weave it's actually a wig that I've made surprising I don't know if many of you guys have heard but there is a possibility of you guys making a wig out of a hot glue dun, 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 dun. <laughs> but yeah you can make actually wig on um, out of a hot glue and what I find is I think it lasts a lot longer, it stays, um, it's a lot, well, compared to a glue, it has less, uh, less chance of coming out and you could actually wash it and it will still remain strong um, and yeah, you don't have to really worry about that too much. Um, originally I wanted to make a video showing you guys how I've made it but then I realized that it's pretty much the same method as when my I made my 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 U-Pod wig um, video I made a U-Pod wig showing pretty much how I made a U-Pod wig for natural hair which uh, a lot of U-Pod wig people do, they just make like a U-Pod and they leave their own natural hair. I'm natural, as uh, some of you guys that have been watching my channel have realized that. So I literally made my u part wig based on um, invisible part method. But uh, the difference between that wig and this wig is that when I made that wig, the invisible part was not as neat as it's supposed to be. I don't know if you guys seen my, my straight hair video where, where I showed you guys how to make a perfect invisible part. Now, which I cut small pieces and I just placed it one after another. So what I did is I weave my hair, well I, I weave my hair into a cap. Like just like I weave my regular U part way. I weaved it after I finished the U, after the U part was done. I started gluing my hair as if I was gluing on my own hair but into the mannequin that what I did I just I placed I traced a line on the on where I wanted my part to be so I traced the line and I just placed my pieces one up to another just like I did my invisible part I will be posting a link there now there's two people that inspire me to do this and i think they should have all the credit for it i think that's the main reason why i didn't even want to make a video showing how i've made this because they explain it so much better than i could possibly explain it so i will be posting the two specific video that sh the, that inspired me to do this and you guys should get you guys should go and check it out because they are wonderful women and they extremely and I'm pretty sure you guys are probably familiar with them uh, so we posting the link below, below there the the I should say the stuff that I've used is that I use obviously the glue gun which I got mine from Canadian Tire and uh, the the glue itself that I, the, I use, the, the glue stick that I've used, it's uh, also from Canadian Tire. Make sure that the one that you buy is set for multiple temperatures so that um, because the more heat, you need a lot of stronger heat. So don't buy the one from Walmart. If you live in Canada, don't buy the one from Walmart. Buy the one from Canadian Tire. Make one that says maximum heat or multiple heat. Those are the ones that I would advise you to do. Obviously, you need two caps because you'll be gluing it into the mannequin's head. And uh, one of the things I want to tell you guys is that usually when I make my U-Pod rig, if you guys have seen originally how I showed you guys how I install it, I braid two braids here and two braids on the edge and the rest I just do whatever. This time, I still braid the two braids here, but instead of sewing it, what I did is that I placed clip-ons. So the clip-ons that I place look something like this. Don't mind my choppy nails, okay? So this is the clip-on that I did. As you guys could see, it have like little holes there. So in those little holes, 
that's where I sewed into it. So right now I have three pieces of uh, I have three pieces of clip-ons on the edge here. So three pieces on each side, three pieces on the three pieces up here, three pieces on the side, and two pieces in the bottom. Because I got to admit the downfall about this is the hair is a lot heavier than having a wig, uh, like an, a regular wig or even uh, just a regular sewing. It's a lot heavier and I do want my hair to breathe a little before I let it out because in June first it's going to be one year. I am super excited. I finally, finally get to show you guys my hair, how I maintain it, how how I'm planning to take care of it. Don't get me wrong, I will be still wearing my weave during summer, but the majority of time, it's gonna be my natural hair. So, I wanted to make a wig that will last me until pretty much June. So, that's exactly, and then I came across this wonderful creation, and I think it will be able to last me because every, when I'm home, I'm not wearing it. I, like, I'll put it, I put, I take it off and I put it in my mannequin's head and then when I'm going out I just place it. So it's exactly as having on a regular a regular wig, you know? So please you guys gotta go check those girls out. Like I said, I will show you guys, I will post a link of how I did my my U part ver version uh originally and how I did my perfect invisible part so you guys will have an idea of how to do your perfect invisible part. And last I will be posting the two wonderful ladies that inspired me to do this video. Now, some tips. Some tips I have to give you guys. Please, before you glue the hair, put a shower cap into the mannequin set. Why I say that? You see this? My, my, my shenene. Shenene have cancer. Shenene! I'm so sorry. But yeah. So what I did is like I put the cap on the mannequin inside and when I was done everything, when I tried to pull the wig out, all those little marks, wet marks, glued itself into the hair as well because it was obviously it was hot and it was glue and this is plastic so I have like white stuff into the into the wig, not not into the my hair because it's glue so it's it's like stuck, right? So it's not like the the little leftover brush is coming out. It's not coming out. It's just stayed there. But I'm just telling you, just to be on the safe side, put a plastic cap into your hair, into the mannequin's head before you place the cap so that once it's done, better that you pull out a plastic than to pull out the shenene leftovers, you know? It's okay, Shanine, I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm done. Um, Yeah, I'm pretty much done. There's nothing more I can really explain. I think I pretty much said it all. I know you guys are going to ask me questions about the hair. The hair that I've used, it's that same hair that I used when I made my U part, uh, visible part wig. Okay, so it's a Prime Premium 2. And the one that I used this time, it's a mixture of 1B and number 1. More number 1 than 1B. What I realized is that us, naturally African American girls, our hair is not really jet black and it's not, num it's not 1B. It's a mixture of both. So more in the front, I have 1, but more on the side, I have a little bit of 1B. On 1B, a little bit on the back. But I have more of 1B than, I have more of number 1 than 1B. The layers that I have is, I use actually, that first got bad. I use exactly three pack and a half. So, yeah. I had a 12 inch, 2 12 inch, 2 10, um, 2 12 inch, 110, a full 10, and the leftovers, the half pack, it was the 1B. So three, three pack was all number one, and the half pack was the 1B, which it was 212 two and 210 that I pretty much put into my hair. So let me try this again. That's the name of the hair, please, guys. I know some of you guys will be asking me this, what's the name of the hair? This is the name of the hair, and I showed you guys the clip-on. You guys could purchase this at any hair store. Okay, so I know many of you guys and want to ask me about my lip gloss, 
about my vest, so I'm just gonna put, put it out there before you guys ask me, okay? So my lip gloss that I'm wearing is from Revlon and it's Papaya Zero Two Zero. And yes, I absolutely love this lip gloss. Okay, so it was about $5.99 for that. My bagels, I got these two as a gift. These three up here, I got it from Aldo. This ring, it belonged to my sister, which it belongs to me now. Technically, I didn't steal it because she knows I have it, so that's not considered stealing, but I kind of took it. It's not stealing. It's not stealing, kids. It's, it's calling borrowing. There you go. That's the word. My vest, I got it from Forever 21. Um, a lot of people went back online trying to find it and they couldn't find it. I apologize. I actually bought this in the middle of February. So I don't know if they still have it. But my vest, I got it from Forever 21. I absolutely love it because they have kind of those buttons there. You know? So yeah. I absolutely so I hope this was very helpful. As I told you guys, all the information that you will need will be placed on the info bar. Especially if you guys want more information in terms of my outfits. Okay? Don't forget to subscribe. No, I don't think it's important to subscribe. I like just subscribe if you want to. Um, like if you like if you want to. Comment if you have any special requests, write it below. And don't forget to check out my blog. Follow me on Twitter. And until next time, God bless. Take care. Peace out.